Hi everyone, welcome to the Jansen Art Studio and Tommy Tamai, Art Tommy yes, Tamai Art, Art Studio. Tamai Art Studio. Thank you, everyone. Hi. And Dee's over there. Dee, say hello. Hi, hi. And Martha's here. Hi, hi, everybody. Happy to be here. Yeah. And oh, you're gonna turn uh, D turn me I down. Did. Thanks very much. <laughs> okay, we're uh, practicing, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of painting for you. But we're practicing live streaming for Tame, who's starting up her classes right now. Yes, this is first time. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> You've been taking acting lessons. Good. Thank <laughs> we, you. Yes. So we're gonna have a good time. Uh, Tame will also be doing a little bit of Japanese for some of the Japanese students that will be joining us. It's early morning morning in Japan yes. and uh, so we thought we would do a little bit for everyone tonight. Um, can say you can Japanese. say yeah. Yeah, okay, please. I said all that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit much. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to I'm going to answer a few questions and of course like other live classes and stuff if you have questions you can just fire them away and Martha will read the questions to us over there and Deanne will uh, answer in yeah yeah she's so thank in. you yeah <laughs> just so Deanne's very happy because she nailed some new wonderful beautiful <laughs> roses today which will probably be showing up on her YouTube channel she launched her YouTube channel uh, this uh, this week she's already got a couple of videos up and uh, she's in production of a couple of more so. And uh, hopefully in the fall, she'll be running her live classes, right? Yes. So. Right. Yes, we need to see if we can get her to come up here and launch her live class with us. And yeah. then we could become the live class epicenter. We're the live class epicenter, oh. yeah. For, decorative, for well. decorative and art painting, we're here. I mean, come here, Jansen Art Studio. Hey, yeah. Jessica's here, Dave. Jessica's here. Hi, Hi Jay Jessica. Jay. Hi, Jay. Hi. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I thought, you know, we'll do a little bit of painting. Tommy will do a little translating. Yes, of course. Yes, of I course. Can, I can yeah. speak to Japanese well. You can <laughs> speak Japanese well. <laughs> yes, you can. That's very good. I've been practicing my English too. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. And like everything, we're gonna uh, if you have questions, just fire away. What I'm gonna do is paint some roses for you. One of the techniques that uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more with in the next couple of months is uh, the halftone technique. And so I thought I'd just do a brief introduction of the halftone technique. We'll paint some flowers, some different types of flowers with halftones, which is yeah, a lot of fun. It's great technique. It is a I great technique. I love yeah. the half uh, halftone technique. And those of you that are in the uh, landscape class, we're going to be using halftone technique coming up starting uh, May 4th with uh, Louis Ashton Knight's painting, his landscape painting. So halftone's a great technique. Looking at the online class, the 5th of the day, Ashton Knight's technique, I'm going to do the technique of the looking at the technique of the looking at the halftone technique. I'm going to do the looking at the halftone technique. I'm going to do the looking Yes. You know how great it is? I mean, you're teaching, we're teaching here in Pennsylvania and online, and I see some of you from different areas, and of course, Japan, and we're going to be, I mean, we'll have students from around the world starting to find us and join us in. It's a lot of fun. そうですね。世界中の皆さんがこのこの放送を見て、みんなのみんなが加わってくることで、世界の輪が広がっていくと思います。皆さんどうぞ参加するようにお願いいたします。Yeah. So I got a lot of questions also this week in our classroom in the S1102 classroom and uh, I'll be answering some of those tomorrow night. Yeah. Mark? Before we get too far uh, Tame, would you please let all of your friends in Japan know that if they have a question, yeah. they might be nervous to write it in English, but not to worry. They can go ahead and write it in the kanji. I'll bring up my okay, translate Google. Yeah. And I'll be able to she's, read it. She's uh well she has it also here. She's following she's reading the, as we go in the Japanese. Oh, so Tame doesn't need me. No, Tame <laughs> needs you a lot. No, me, uh, <laughs> we all need I Martha. Need everyone yes, yeah, everyone, everyone give everyone. kudos to Martha or I'll lose so, everyone give kudos. <laughs> so <laughs> so then make sure that everybody knows that they can yeah. write in any language okay. and we'll get it yeah. worked out. Yes, and Jessica, who normally answers and sends all those links for you, will do it in Japanese as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She'll do that as well. Won't you, Jay? You'll get right on that. Yeah. 
So giving a 15 second delay, Jessica right now is about having a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, one, I've got a few questions, but there's a couple that uh, pertain to a lot of things that we do just as artists. And uh, I believe it was Bertie, I hope I got, I hope it was, I got you uh, right, Bertie, that you asked this question. Um, I'll be answering it again tomorrow night in the uh, S102 class. But uh, she wanted to know what is the numbers and stuff that you see on the tubes? What does that relate to? So I have some things to show you and I want to let me come over here to the, the down shot here and uh, we'll switch over to that and I'll show you. I got a tube here. So when you see on the tube, underneath the tube right here, you'll see the set of numbers. So this is PBR7, PB15, uh, colon 3, PY83. That means that the pine green here is uh, a mixture of an earth pigment, which is PBR7. It's a mixture of our phthalo blue, and it's a mixture of darulite yellow here. So that's how we're making this particular uh, pine green. So, and all uh, all really good paint companies put those on. As a matter of fact, we got a we got a test uh, tube in today of Winsor Newton's oil colors of this uh, turquoise, which we're going to mix to. And uh, when you flip the tubes and stuff over to the side here, you can see when you flip it over to the side that this. Uh, this particular one is 36. So when you um, when you are looking at these colors, this is PB36, which is a, a cobalt titanate uh, pigment. These are, I, I really don't care for these. That's why we've kept it pretty much closed. I got a little bit of it out as a sample. We're gonna color mix to this because these are some colors that we want to uh, paint with in landscapes and upcoming lessons and stuff. So uh, it's uh, one that used to be used. You know, I don't use any cobalts, chromium, or cadmiums anymore in uh, what I paint. But over the years, I've, I've taught a lot about color theory, and I have all different kinds of tubes. And so when you deal with paint companies, they all have these numbers on it. And um, for example, this one right here, this is the Liquitex uh, CAD uh, Red. And when you turn it all over here, it says it's PR108. Um, and uh, that's a uh, that's a true cadmium. Now this is also Liquitex. It's a student grade one here, and the student grade uh, of this one right here it says it's made with uh, PR170 and an Arulide seven uh, Arulide pigment number seventy four. So it says right here. It's really small. It's hard to see, but it's one seven zero, which is our naphthol red. So this is not. Even though it's called cadmium, it, even though it says right here it's a cadmium red medium hue, even though it says it's cadmium red, it's not a cadmium red pigment. It's a naphthol pigment, same pigment that's inside ours. It's a naphthol red 170. And so the numbers tell you what is inside that particular color, okay? So numbers become very, very important. And numbers are a way when you're color mixing or you're going between different things, numbers are a way that you can, um, you know, that you can find exactly the, the information about that color. So when I'm going to take and I'm going to find a cobalt turquoise, you know, a PB36 uh, or uh, there's a, a PG50 that's also made by Winsor Newton that's a cobalt turquoise. I will be looking up the chemical characteristics of that color and mixing to it off of ours so I can come very, very close to that color. Not only in color, but in the, the qualities of the mix. And uh, so when you see the word, the thing here, it's when you see the word hue after a tube, that means that the company, that's a, this, this company names their colors properly. They're, it's really nice. This hue means that it's not the traditional pigment, it's a mix. So that's why sometimes you'll see the word hue after the word. But the numbers are one way in which artists who really pay attention to what they're doing, they know the kind of pigment that is at inside of that particular color. So numbers are very, very important. And uh, we'll talk more about that in the classroom tomorrow and stuff as we uh, start to develop some of the colors and looking at other, you know, how do we go emulate some other types of colors and everything. We'll do all of that kind of stuff. But the uh, numbers are very important. And you might want to tell your students, just the numbers yes. just tell them what is inside. えっと、日本の皆さんも多分ご存知だと思います。え、どの色にもピグメントが入ってありまして、そこのカラーの色の番号ですね、書いてあります。これが何が混ざってるかっていうのが一応書いてある状、書いてありますので、色の名前ではな
ここの中身ですね、ピグメントの中身を見ていただいたら、その番号が、えー、混ざってるのか混ざってないのかでよくわかりますので、この、えっ、ー、と、アーティストの人が一応注目するのが、色の名前ではなくてピグメントです。この中身の方ですね、気をつけていただきたいと思います。Damn. Okay. okay. That's good. Yes, okay. Wow. That, you were much faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> yes.、Yeah. So, important, only important. Yeah, t h i s only important thing <laughs>、yes. to remember. Yeah. yeah. So, b e r t i e is recapping. So, she says, so the letters represent pigments, but what is important is the numbers. The numbers,、mm-hmm. yeah. And, and、uh, did I get that right, b e r t i e You're the one that answered the question,、uh, asked the question.、Um, the numbers are very, very important. Matter of fact, we'll, we'll do more color theory education with the numbers because it's been a while、mm-hmm. since I've, I've done that.、Uh, one of the things I'll show you here the numbers,、uh, the name means absolutely nothing. I have to put on my, my old man OG sunglasses here because <laughs> they're very. Very, very small. Let me zoom in just a little bit more here and see if I can、uh, get these up a little closer. They're very, very small, some of these here. Oh, that's good. That's good. So here's, a, here's an oil color, a Winsor Newton Winton oil, oil color here. This is the color sap green. Sap, yeah. Sap green. Yeah,、right. sap yes. green. Sap green is one of the most abused colors in the industry because there's, there's really not two companies that make sap green exactly the same. So, When you look at like、uh, sap green here, you can see uh, uh, that it's an iso-、uh, isodolidine uh, w- uh, yellow, just a yellow 110, okay,、uh, which is real close to Hansa yellow. And thalocyanine、uh, PB15, which is our thal- basically your, your thalo blue, okay.、Um, yeah, here it is, thalocyanine blue 15. We're thalocyanine 15.3, which is just a little bit more powerful.、Um, so that's how they make sap green. You go look over here at、uh, this is sap green with Martin F. Weber here.、Um, and Martin F. Weber's pigments are quite a bit different. They use PY83, which is d a r u l i d e yellow. They use PG7, which is t h a l o green.、Mm. So these are our d a r u l i d e well, it says right here, d a r u l i d e yellow,、mm. uh, and t h a l o c y a n i n e and PO43, which is paranone orange. orange.、Yeah. So this sap green here is made from basically, if I want, I can make exactly this color in the heritage line of this sap green. I could just take some d a r u l i d e yellow, a little t h a l o green, and a little bit of the paranone orange. It's actually kind of a beautiful mix because that paranone orange is so, such an expensive color. Color. But here you have two, co- two companies, two sap greens that are very different from each other, both being called sap green. And this is a, it's a pretty good example that the,、uh, the name means nothing. It's、mm. the numbers that tell you what is inside that tube. And those are for really、uh, good quality companies put those numbers on there so artists know exactly what they're、mm. buying. And I've always said for years, you don't find them on craft bottles because craft painters don't need to know any of that. You know, they usually just buy the colors directly and use it. Pre-mixed.、Mm-hmm. The pigments that they're、mm-hmm. using. But,、uh, you know, oil artists or、uh, fine artists, let's put it that way, fine artists like ourselves, especially the acrylics. Now that acrylics are getting higher grades and we can use, we can suspend really high quality colors into new types of emulsions and paint. We can、uh, use some of these, uh, these uh, really fine、uh, pigments and we put the numbers on there. So people who are studying it and who know the numbers really know that it's a good quality color. So all of our colors are real good quality colors. So very,、okay. very different. Okay, good luck. <laughs>、oh, <thank you. laughs> I'll take a break. <laughs> ちょっと日本語で説明したいと思います。えっ、ー、と、これどちらも同じ名前なんですね。色ですね。サップグリーンって同じ名前なんですけれども、中身、作ってある中身と入れてある中身が違います。ピンベントが違って同じような色に,に作ってあるんですが、色自体も違います。名前だけが同じで、中に使われているピンベントが違います。そして、この片方の方、こちらの方ですね。えっ、ーえー、と、中に入っているピンベントを見るとこの、このラインナップっていうのは、ヘイテージペイントカラーの中のラインナップと全く一致しますので、このこの色はヘイテージのペイントを作って完璧に作ることができます。そして今までのアクリルペイントですね、あの薄いタイプのボトルタイプのアクリルペイントっていうのはもうすでに作り上げられているものですので、あの、そういうものを使ってらっしゃる方っていうのはこの中身っていうのはあまり見ない状態で使うことができ,できていました。えー、ただし、アーティストの人っていうのは何が一番大事かっていうと、やっぱり色っていうのがすごく大事になりますので、この中に書いてある要素ですね。中のピグメント、化学物質とが何が入ってるかっていうことで、結局次に混ぜると
色の反応が違ってきますので、そういうことを大切に思って考えています。どうぞ皆さん、この裏のピグメントっていうものですね、今度から見るようにしてみてください。何が混ざってるかわかると思います。Okay? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there you go. So there's all different kinds of stuff. Like this is a golden、uh, pyro red.、Uh, it's a PR254.、Uh, and、uh, that's a, a red that is being used by many companies now to replace cadmium. So you may see a, a, a cadmium red、uh, hue. And you look at the pigment, it, it's not the cadmium、uh, red pigment, a PR101. It'll be like a 254. And if it says a 254, you know it's a very, very safe pigment. It doesn't need to carry the warnings like cadmium colors. Cadmium colors have to carry warnings on them. Okay, because they are there. As a matter of fact, I have a tube here. And we were joking about some of the tubes. Because the new one I just bought here, let's, let me do this here. Switch over to. To, well, that didn't do that here. Let me do this shot here. There we go.、Uh, do that. No, did not want to switch to that. Yeah, why didn't you want to switch? So, this is,、um, this is a cadmium pigment here. And、uh, what you see on here, see, it's it carries a warning. I've had this too for a long time in teaching that. It has that、mm -hmm. warning that it's a cancer causing agent and stuff. Cadmiums, PY35s, PO20s, PR109. There's a lot of pigments that you should, and they give warnings on there. It's a good company, it gives you the warnings on it and stuff. But、uh, they give you warnings about、uh, the health risk and stuff like that for, the, for, the,、uh, for that particular col、uh, color. And this is、uh, Holbein. That、uh, the Holbein、mm -hmm. one that I got today. So, and this contains the warning on it also. This is a cobalt pigment that came in and、uh, that we were going to test with and stuff. And we're just very, very careful with those. And matter of fact, I think D left the room when I opened it up to take a sample of the glass. You have to be careful with cadmiums, cobalts, and chromiums. That's what you have to be、That's、careful with. That's because she、with. visits California. Yeah, because you visit California. <laughs> But it's only in California. So if you're not in California, Uh, don't worry about it. That's,、no. a, bit, <laughs> that's a bit of a joke. That's a, a bit, bit of a joke. joke. It's a joke, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It makes, it's only in, it's only in California that California. they're required to put that label on. Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, there's, there's, numbers mean a lot. Now, that is called the chemical index name. Okay,、mm -hmm. for those of you who want to know, that is called the chemical index name. And those on good quality colors, you'll always see those numbers. And if you're looking, You know, if you have your favorite color, say in a Windsor Newton or something like that, and you want to move over and transfer it to another line, you look for that number. That's、mm -hmm. what you're looking for. Or, you know, if I'm looking at an old artist and I know that they use these particular、mm -hmm. colors, I look at that number, then I look up that number in my big book of secrets, and it tells me all about that chemical index, and then I can mix a color that will match that to what we do today.、Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I do a lot of mixing and stuff. To match that, but numbers. Then there is also after that a five digit number, and that what that does is that's the secret of the company, but that tells the company what the chemistry is on that particular color. So there's more to the name, but we as paint makers, we don't deal in names. Names mean nothing. We、oh. deal in numbers.、Yes. Numbers. Numbers tell you everything. Okay. ピグメントの化学物質の番号が、えー、結局その色は何色だっていうことを全世界共通で決めているものであって、あの、の付けられている名前っていうのは、あの、イメージで付けられたものですから、あんまり当てにしないようにしていただきたいと思います。そして、例えば昔の作品ですね、そういったものを、えー、同じようなこの、あ、この色を使いたいと思った時ですね、その昔の作品に使われているピグメントっていうのを調べることで、昔の方が使われているものを調べることで、同じ同じような色を結局今の色から作ることができます。そういうふうなものがあります。そういうふうなことで、えー、その化学物質ですね、中に入っている色、皆さんが今度から気をつけていただきたいっていうのは、ピグメントのナンバーを見ていただければ、同じような色を全く再現することができます。よろしいですかあ、Thank you. Yes. <笑><笑>はい、yes. それでは始めましょう。Okay. Okay. So,、uh, what we're going to do,、uh, look at how big that shot is now.、Uh, what we're going to do, let's make it bigger. <laughs> what I'm going to do tonight is do a little bit of painting. For you, and we're just kind of like I said, testing out the classroom here for Tame, getting her feet wet in between the live class, and we'll be doing the same thing for Dee later on and stuff. And oh, and Dee, go ahead and give your plug go visit Dee's new YouTube site, make sure you subscribe. That's right, that's right, please. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I have a board here, just a medium white board. What I'm going to do is, is go through some halftone techniques with you. And like I said, if you have questions, just go ahead and ask the questions away, okay? Yes. So what uh, I'm going to start here with, I'm going to do some roses. Let's do a little sketching first. Some roses and some blossom. Sometimes I do it this way. I'm just going to take out maybe a number eight, eight or a ten fusion flat here. And I, when I'm going to do a half tone technique, I really don't like to work too wet. Okay, too wet. I like to work just a little bit dry. And I see everyone busy typing away and stuff. I love all these conversations that happen without me <laughs> as I'm test as I'm painting here. But I'm going to take a little burnt sienna and a little bit of my green here and I'll just make a just any kind of sketch color this is all going to cover up this gives you an idea let's say we're going to start a rose and we know the rose is basically a circle but it what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it a little bit to an oval shape so I can push it off to the side here decide your path of movement whenever you're going to do any type of painting decide a path of movement like maybe my path of movement is going to come in here like this okay so burnt sienna pine green and I'm just going to sketch in now so that rose will go there and you know maybe I'll maybe I'll turn another rose up through here I like to when I and this is I, I want to keep I don't want to get too big here um, when I'm painting when you're setting up a composition and you're doing the roses or something like this I try to set one rose as dominant one rose that is a little bit bigger than the other roses so main rose is bigger one Yes, and they'll have that in your classroom. They'll have that with the rose lessons on there. Yes, One rose that's slightly yes. bigger than the other. Okay.今からハーフトーンテクニックを使ってバラを描いていきます。今メインのローズですね。こちらに描きました。で、もう一つのバラをここに入れています。少し横向きのバラになっています。そして大きな方がメインローズになって、動きの方をこちらの方で考
こに書いたものですね。ここ、例えば緑のミックスを持ってきたとしても、この葉っぱ自体がここにその葉っぱがたくさんあるっていうことをもうすでに想像させるので、そういう意味でこういうものを付け加えることがあります。Yeah. So, in,、uh, once I get some of this, what I do, what I do next when I really am、uh, doing a half tone technique, and it's an impressionistic type of technique, and what we do is we start to find first, it's Uh, some of our core darks, our darkest darks. We try to find our darks, where our dark colors are, put those on, and then that helps our eyes see light and dark, since my background here is lighter. Yes. And so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some darks. I'm going to take some Pine green, and I don't want to get too cool yet. Usually, I get into my darks with pine green and red violet. That's、mm. very, very cool. But I don't want to get too cool yet because once you cool that color, it's very difficult to get it warm. So, I'm going to start out with pine green and burnt sienna, which is a warm color. So, when I do a lot of half tones, a lot of half tone painting, I'm very aware of temperature of my、mm. colors. ハフトンテクニックを使うときっていうのはものすごく温度に気をつけなくてはいけなくなります。そして今までっていうのはこのレッドバイオレットですね。大体レッドバイオレットをグリーンに加えてクールにしてからそこの暗い部分に持ってってたんですけれども、クールにし、クールな色を持っていくと今度ウォームにしにくいので、えー、最近ですね、やっぱり使ってるっていうのは、ウォームの色、ウォームの、ウォームでも少し鈍い色をくる、あの、暗いところに持ってくることでダークサイドを見つけていますので、えー、ちょっとこのレッドバルトの使い方少し気をつけていただければと思いますので、覚えていただきたいのはですね、温度の方です。温度管理をすることで、あの、ブケ自体がすごく生き生きすることになります。ウォームカラーで少しシャドウを最初に入れていきましょう。Yeah, and so, all of this I can change really easy. But what this does with these darks, because I'm going to paint out some of this. So, right, you know, usually right now many of my students are dying. Because they're looking at how much contrast is coming in <laughs> and they're going,、oh, you know, and they think, oh, wow,、well, we make a mistake or something like that. And they see me start painting like this. All of it can be softened out. But we do this right now so the contrast, or I see this contrast, the darks and the lights. That's what、mm -hmm. we want to see. 一番最初にこのダークから入れるんですね。最初の方は最初見た時にびっくりするかもしれませんけれども、ダークサイドがはっきりわかることで、今度は明るい部分がはっきり自分の目で見ることができます。暗い色を入れ,る入れなければ自分がやっぱり認識しにくいので、最初に暗い部分を見つけて入れていきます。And you can use your hand and soften some of that out a little bit because we don't have to worry about pigments or toxicity. We're all safe. So, heritage paint is a very good thing. So, the other thing is that 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 the other thing Yeah. And I'll just put some color out through there. All this will change. But this just helps me especially see my real、mm. darks. And I'm not as dark as I'm going to go, but I'm very close. Because my darkest is going to come from my phthalo green and, I mean, my pine green and my red violet. But I don't want to go cool yet. I want to keep、mm. everything warm to the warm side. Okay. And that's the most important part. Keep dark. So apply dark,、uh, warm keep colors. Dark and warm colors. Dark and yeah, warm colors. えっ、ー、と、一番大事な部分ですね、今回ですね。えっと、あの、ダークサイドの部分をそのまま、ボームをキープしてください。あったかいままでダークサイドをそのままキープすることが、このテクニックを書いていくのにとても大事になってきます。Yeah. And I'm gonna do some yellow and white roses here, so I'm gonna push in some yellow oxide here. That's really yellow. That's really yellow.、Oh. But we love yellow. Yes, we love yes, we yellow. yellow. Yes, we do, don't we, Dee? We love yellow and red. Yeah. <laughs> yellow and red. <laughs> Together, and、yeah, we love yellow and red. I'll push some of those in. Matter of fact, we'll make D happy. We'll okay, put a little bit of red into that, too. <laughs> <Thank> okay, you. <laughs> you're welcome. Because here at the Jansen Art Studio, we're interested in your happiness and Tommy A Art Studio as well. So we'll push some of that color in. Okay, Yes. Well, I made, I made、uh, D very happy here the other day. I painted red flowers. I painted quite a bit of red flowers in the last few like days. Like every、right? day. Like every day, a little bit of red flowers there, yeah. So, 
Uh, hey, Dee, can you hand me the ones that with the red roses that I painted there? I'll show them that I, too, can paint red. So right. I'm putting yellow oxide in, and then I'm going to take some yellow oxide with some uh, burnt sienna, and I'm going to set my darks in on those, too. Yellow oxide and burnt sienna will come mm. to the darks. These are the reds I painted. Wow, red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> that is red. Oh, I painted red. And it's hard to paint reds when you can't go pink. But I painted this container and this right here, right there, and fought it a little oh, bit that's because gentle. This is oh, see, this is gentle. gentle. <laughs> this is gentle color. It's good to push yeah. yourself, baby. It's good to push yeah, yourself. Yeah, it's good. It's good to push yourself. So yes. I'll take a little dark, warm color, some burnt sienna, maybe oh, a little bit of red. Yeah, 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 and maybe right. some red. Here. Yeah. And I'm going to put on the shadow side of the flower. I'm going to put, I'm going to push light up to the, the top side here. And I'm going to push the shadow side to the flower. That's what I'm going to paint first. Usually with a lot of roses, I go in and paint the three circles. And I don't always do that on a half tone. Yeah. And so then I'll paint some blossoms here. Beautiful color. Yeah, I'm almost ready to varnish, I think. Oh, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm getting I'm getting more and more impressionistic now. Yeah. <laughs> so Dave, one of the things I I love about this new the new venture you're on, yeah, is all the finger painting that you're doing. I love the finger painting. As paint. much as I love selling the brushes to see the variation that yeah. you get every time you, you push touch those color. colors. Yeah. And um knowing that our paint you don't have any health concerns, of course. Yeah. But the the consistency of the paint, how does that impact your ability to get these? I this, and that's a really good question, Mark. Thanks for pointing that out. Because one of the things I want to talk to everyone uh, about, and um, is the the actual consistency of the paint, and uh, one and and how we like to I like to paint sticky. Remember we were talking yes. about this with sticky, sticky paint. paint. And it's important for your students to understand yes. that too. Sticky Me paint. Too. You too. <laughs> <Right>. Yes. <laughs> too. All of us too we're, we're sticky paint. I use I like I use different brushes at different times because of the consistency of my paint. And most of the time when I work a painting like this and I'm working, you know, like three flowers or something like that, I'm waiting for one to kind of dry up a little bit and tack mm. up a little bit. I don't like painting in wet color. I like to paint in sticky color, color that's almost mm. dry. Yeah, you can tell your students the secret. Uh, My secret is out. Your secret? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, David says, I'm going to tell you ノードですね。絵のノードがとても大事になって、あの、絵のごと you can touch. touch mm -hmm. some yeah. There. Well, see, they oh, can see. This? They can see right here. It's already starting to dry uh, and yeah, gets a little where you can leap where you start to pick up a little bit here. Start mm. to roll it a little bit. That's the paint that's starting to really dry. Where I put it here, it's it's not quite as wet. So I'm not adding any more extender to it. I'm kind of pushing the paint around, and I want this paint here to kind of dry up a little bit. I don't want it really wet. あ、パンチ。いや、パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ
、えー、と今までの,その葉っぱの感じと変えるためにバントシエナとパイングリーンに、えー、ナフソールレッドライトを少し加えてそれでもダークなダークのウォームウォームウォームなグレーを作ってみてこのウォームのこの,こ,、ね、こ,の段この段階で皆さん気がつくかと思いますけど今一切使ってないですこのレッドバイオットね一切使ってない状態でこれだけで今作っていきますので、うん、全体的に全部ウォームな状態です Warm is your friend. Oh, now, warm is my friend. Warm、oh, is your thank friend. You. Yes. Warm <laughs> is your friend. <laughs> yes. Yes. Warm is your friend. And dark, we want to keep it kind of dark. These are the dark tones here. Okay. And so you see, but you can see the, war- the tone here. It goes, all these tones go anywhere. And right now, most of my colors into the edges and stuff have that pine green and that burnt sienna in it. That burnt sienna is in all of these colors here. And you can kind of see that tone carrying through the painting.、Mm-hmm. And that's what's going to give my painting a lot of harmony. この中で全部共通の色は何かっていうとバントシェンナです。バントシェンナを共通色にしてこれだけのバリエーションで組んでるので全部が全体的にまとまって、えー、うまく色のコントロールができている状態になります。And since we do have that burnt sienna as kind of a harmony color here, let's take it, let's, let's just add a little green and a little white. Let's add, just find a fun color with some of that burnt sienna. And バントシェンナを中心に、yeah. えと今ラフソレッドライトと白を混ぜながら、えー、ちょっとイエローオキサイドも加えました。そしてこのバリエーションを、えー、楽しんでいただきたいと思います。And let's push that through some.It is a beautiful color.Let's push some of that through our.Just get a little wild and crazy. And, okay? Don't worry about it. If it doesn't work, you just give it to your, some family member. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like to pull, I like to pull through and get movement <laughs> with nothing like a paper towel. Now, these are,、uh, these are very, very special paper towels. These are Costco paper towels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Kirkland brand, <laughs> right, Marv? <laughs> 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 <Yeah> . <laughs> You know, not to do any product plugs, but these are Kirkland brand products. Three things. Ian's used about five rolls in three days. Yeah, exactly. We're making another Costco run tomorrow because we've gone through so many、uh, paper towels. But I'll put some of that color out through,、uh, through the background here. Maybe even a little bit more transparent up through here so that you see that color coming through. Isn't that pretty? You just see that color carrying through there. Yeah, yeah, the movement, movement in it makes it look like you know what you're doing.、Mm-hmm. And so, you know, here I'm just taking it. This all works because this is my harmony color. This is the color、mm-hmm. that I've picked out、ね、that is in all of my painting. And there it is there. Oh no. oh, no. That's okay. Oh, no. okay. That's okay.、はい、Warm color. Backside. Oh, sorry.、Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Then never let your customer turn over. Oh, okay. Because it's a whole nother painting. Now. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, backside's covered with red violet. That's the cool color. Cool color goes on the back of the painting. Oh, that's <laughs> Cool color goes on the back of the painting. Yeah. Well, let's almost finish the map. map, map. That、yeah, this kind of my map, 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 my map of what I'm doing、yeah. here, of where I'm going to go. You can kind of see the impressionism of the flowers,、mm-hmm. and I'm waiting for it to kind of tack up a little bit so I can do the halftone technique. Yes, Martha. So that kind of answers what、uh, some of them are asking is、um, are they globalized colors or、yeah. are you globalizing on the palette? I am, these are globalized colors. You can globalize、mm-hmm. on the palette while you're doing it, or you can paint this technique pure acrylic. Many times I paint this technique pure acrylic.、Um, in some of the videos, we just finished filming a whole bunch of YouTube videos, and、uh, I've been using、uh, a lot of the、uh, Darulide Yellow. And、mm. in the Darulide Yellow, I use、uh, a half tone technique a lot of times with that. So I just, I, I, I like, well, let me put it this way when, when I paint, I like colors that are sticky. And that's what we're going to do. And I just finished this big video back here. Which way? Here we go this one right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love this one. There's this one right here. I just finished yeah, filming this one right here. And、um, yeah, it hasn't been varnished yet, so the colors don't really come up yet. But this one carries a, a half tone technique into it. And I used a lot of Darulide、uh, yellow in it to give a lot of glow, which is kind of difficult to see in the camera. But、uh, it has a lot of bright, bright colors in it. 
and I paint a lot of halftone, but I used the Daru Light Yellow as an acrylic, and I mm -hmm. used the rest of them as a global in the painting, and uh, because I wanted the Daru Light Yellow to dry faster than the others, because I used it as a glaze. So I used it as an acrylic. So I don't always paint everything with global colors. You know, I don't always paint everything with global colors. I use you know, all different. Thank you very much. I can do. You can do. Yes. Oh, you. Awesome. <laughs> I think you need to give her a moment to translate. Give her more what? A moment to translate. Give her a moment to translate. Please translate. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're Rachel. welcome. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get so excited about teaching. I forget. Sorry, Kiko, Satomi, <laughs> the other ones. Sorry about that. Thank you. Yes. Hi. Okay. Thank you. So Mikiko's here too, huh? Yes. yes. Oh, hi Mikiko. Glad to see you. Um, so these are these are kind of tacked up uh, just a little bit here. So we'll we'll switch back over here. So I have my my warm color now. What do you mean about uh, a half tone? When you're going to start painting here with a half tone, you know, a half tone means that I will put I will start some of the light color here, and then I'm going to soften it by slowly darkening the tone towards my shadow. Okay, each time dropping like a half tone down. Okay, so I don't try to blend big colors together. Okay, half tone technique, this is half tone technique. は要はその2種類の色があって濃い色と薄い色があったその中間色濃い入れていきますその中間色の間をの色を入れるんですけれどもその中間色の間をブレンドするわけではなくてそこに中間の色を置くことで目の方の目がそのブレンドをするわけです
sometimes that light disappears and then disappears again mm-hmm. as we keep adding more and more uh, and more. And yes. that cuz because a dark color will always overpower a light color. So if you switch to you can see right here I got a lot of power to that color of that rose very fast, very very quickly, very easily because I'm working on sticky paint, almost completely dry paint. Oh. And so that dark color cannot grab the light and make it disappear. Dark color is very strong. For example, the dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. The dark color is not in the same way. Okay, here's my, my base tone here. And then over to the other side over here was my dark, which is what I use over here, my burnt sienna.、Mm. And then I'll make a burnt sienna with a little bit of the yellow right over here. So what I want to do here as I come down to this way, I want to head towards my yellow and I want to put on one or two strokes of、mm. the yellow, yellow like this just to soften that down. Let's soften that down. But over here, the true shadow is burnt sienna. So I、mm. need to go to the burnt sienna. But first, I do the yellow like this. I'll do the yellow. Okay. And then I'll go down towards my burnt sienna, and that will soften that side of the flower here like that. With just a few strokes, you soften that whole tone down. うん、今ここですねこっちのここの部分ですね黄色いものを黄色い色オキサイドと白が混ざったものを1回入れましたっていうのはあのダ,ークダークトーンのバントシエナの色きつくなりますのでその後でさあこちらの方にまたこのバントシエナが入った色を入れて1回か2回するだけでもうこれだけのグラデーションが出ます。Yeah. Now, over here. I like the transition better here on this side than down here. I think I'm a little、mm. fast, light to dark.、Mm. So, what I'll do is I pick out the color. So, I pick out a color right between the yellow oxide and that、mm. light, and I'll soften it. So, I'll come right here and I'll, I'll pick one right between the two, right between those two colors. And I'll use that one in there and give a little more power to that yellow right、mm. there. And then go then. down, go down again,、mm. and then down again. And you'll see I get the softness to the flower a little bit better, and I get a, a little bit softer flower color there on this side. And that gives a lot of power to that. And you see, I'm not blending too many times, I'm doing just very specific strokes, and look at what it sets up in that rose.、Mm-hmm. Very pretty color into that rose. ブレンドしてるわけじゃなくて、こういうふうにラあの線で描いていくことでものすごく力強く描くことができます。Okay,、yes. so yeah, and you can also do this more transparent as well. You can do colors a little bit more transparent, maybe add a little extender to it.、Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll put out outside, maybe a little outside, outside here、yeah. where my petals might be out here, and I'll just put them on kind of casual here.、Mm-hmm. 今外側のあの花びらですね。アウトサイドの外側の花びらを描いています。少し透明にして描いています。And I try not to, to blend. Yeah, I see green.、Yeah. You see green through. Yeah, some green some goes through. And I want to push my light source here onto this side. で今あの少し白を混ぜた色で明るいところを描きました。Okay. And so I'll go up. So some people will start with the middle tone and go up and then go back down. It's a little more pleasing to the eye. But I like to set the light first so I know where my light is. Mm, yes. I like to do that. But every artist is different. Every、mm. artist teaches half tone technique a little different. Everyone's going to have a little favorite way to do it. But of course, mine's the most correct, I think. I don't know how to do this. 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 But as you、はい、see here, when I put on light colors, the light colors have a lot of power right away、うん、because I'm dealing with paint that's almost dry and I'm putting them right on top. Light color を乗せています。どうしてこのライトカラーがこれだけ力強く出てくるかっていうと、下のダークカラーがほとんど乾いた状態で上に描いているからです。Now, as I come over to my shadow side, I'm going to move away from my lighter tones over towards my shadow tones just a bit here and push these over here and Get a little darker, a little softer, and just let those just、mm-hmm. fade away. I, I might put in 
a, a tone right between this one and mm. this one, this this tone and this tone, mm. come right in between with a little softer tone right there, mm. just to to slowly move that around the corner. But see, I'm looking at the tone. Mm. 色を見ながら、こちらのところからですね、向こう側に向けて少し薄くなりながら、下と混ざりながら、ちょっとずつ混ざりながら、だんだん消えていくように書きました。そうすると、ここの間ですね、こことここの間の差が出てくるので、今度はこのあたりでミックスしたものを加えることで、グラデーションが出てきます。Yeah. Now, I've set up a lot of light and dark into my flower here. 今は全部セットアップができました。ダークの色と明るい色と全部セットアップができた状態です。And I'm going to set up also now a now little cool. Now and violet. Now a little cool.、Oh, yes. Yes. Now we'll get cool. この段階で少しクールなに持っていきますので、えー、全体がオームカラーだったものからレッドバイオレットを加えて今カシに加えていますカシに行ってます。I'll put a little red violet and burnt sienna together. This will be my deep dark cool color. That will happen over onto my shadow side here. Deep shadow color. 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 And I have that right here. And if I wanted to soften that a little bit, I'll take that cool color right over here with some of my yellow oxide, which is that color right there, which is what I see right there. And I'll come right between the two there and soften that out with a beautiful, it's a beautiful color. And I can take some of that nice tone like that right up here like this and、oh. just little strokes. And you see that, you see that beautiful yes, that tone beautiful coming up. Yeah, it, is, it is. I love it. Yes. Love it. But the half tone <laughs> technique has a lot of power to it.、Mm. it. And what you have to do is you have to be able to watch the tones. Always know where you are to your light, your dark,、mm. your warm, your cools. Okay. 常にハーフトンテクニックを使うときには必ずライトですね明るい部分と暗い部分を意識しながらハーその中間色を入れて、えー、形を作っていくのに気をつけてください。Yeah. And I use the half tone technique also with what I call portrait flowers, where、oh, I, do, oh, yes. I do very、uh, almost realistic flowers.、Mm. Very much realistic flowers. Yeah. So here's really your flower. You just got to take it like this and. よく皆さんわかるあの、これを見てるとわかると思いますけれども、ここのグラデーションの具合がちょうどそのまま花のグラデーションに持っていかれますので、このパレットですね、必ず色を全部ミックス。そうです。どんなものを描くときもでそうですね。そのバリュースケールですね。バリュースケールを描くとき。こういうふうにきちっと作り上げることで、えっ、ー、と、遠近法っていうのがしっかり見えてきます。特にランドスケープです。風景画を描くときなどは、このようにバレースケールをきちっと作ることで、奥行きを出すことができます。花も同じです。花もきっちりバレースケールを作ることで、花の、例えば向こう側とこっち側っていうのとか、明るい部分と暗い部分、上と下側っていうのを表現することができます。Yeah. So, here's the light part of my flower. Here's the base of my flower, yellow oxide. Here's my depth, which is the red, is the burnt, and then the cool. Color.、Mm. Now, I want to put some more petals on the inside、mm. here. So, I want to come here, but this is too warm for in there. So, I'll just take a little bit of this up here and cool it just with a little bit of the red violet.、Mm. And that's the tone I will use here inside the rose. And it will work. And I will slowly add it a little lighter, a little、oh. warmer add, as add I get more. Paint, add, add, paint. add more、ah, here until I get some movement here inside the rose that I want to have. And I can lighten it as much as I want coming over to here,、mm. even up to here, but make sure you cool it a little bit. So the color, you can see the temperature drop、mm. when you add that red violet to it. Make sure you cool it here. 
、あの、歌詞の中の花,花びらっていうのはクールでなくてはいけないので、ここの色です。この、えー、元の色を、しかもクールカラーを加えながら描いていきます。で、最初にここで,ですね、混ざった色で描いてみて、足りなければもう少し加えて、で、必ず確認してもらいたいことは、ウォームカラーではなくてクールカラーをあの歌詞の中に入れていくっていうことが大事になっていきます。Yeah. And it makes a very pretty center. You can see、うん、it up. But you don't want the center lighter than what you have there.、うんうん yeah. センターの中に入る花びらですね。必ずそのその手前側の花びらよりはクールになってなければいけません。Yeah. And this is where, if I had Daryl Light Yellow, this is where I'd brush a little Daryl Light Yellow right over that. And that would be just, whoa, wonderful. Oh. 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 I don't have any here. <laughs> Darn it. I don't have any here. Oh. Yes, here. Yes. <laughs> don't you like yellow? yellow? We got it. <laughs> okay. I've been doing this lately in the last in the video, and I really love it because this is a real warm yellow orange pigment. I love it. And. <laughs> 明るい黄色の色になりますので、ちょっと加えてみましょう。I'm gonna, I'm gonna down just a bit here. 少し待ってください。少しクール、えー、とダークにしてみますので。Turn this down. はい、Let me turn this down just a minute because I wanna, I'm gonna set the brightness of this down just a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the tone here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard that, D. Yeah.、Uh, okay, so that might be a little bit better okay, here. Yeah, so just、はい、turned it down just a little bit here. So we'll see. <laughs> and I'm going to take some Daryolite yellow. You can see the, Dar the difference、yes. between Daryolite and that. This is a warmer yellow orange. Yeah, I'll put just a little extender in it. This is pure acrylic. I just squirted、oh, yes. it out. And you push this over and look at the warmth. That you get on that side and the depth、oh, that you can get on that side of the flower. And I can drop the, the lightness of that down quite a bit.、Okay. This is, yeah, this is one of the, the, one of the reasons why we have a Daryolite yellow, like an Indian yellow and a Daryolite yellow. They're really powerful colors for glazing and adjusting tone,、mm. half tone te、uh, techniques like this. But, Beautiful techniques like this. So I'll come over here and I'm going to add a little light. So I'm going to go up in tone,、uh, up in value here、uh, just a value, bit. Yeah. Yep. And we'll add, the, we'll add some light strokes here to the flower. And you'll see they'll have a nice punch, a nice lightness、oh. to them here, up to this side here. And you can still do your little finger blending and stuff there like that. It's a real pretty, and we'll put some light in here. And as we come down to this side, we need to head over a little more Dari light, a little more yellow oxide here Because, as we come down yes, to this come side. Down, side. Da,、yeah. down to this side here, so we'll push just a little bit. And, and I like to push my finger around a little bit. But, yeah, finger, finger blending is good stuff. Expensive finger. finger yes, expensive <laughs> finger. Yes, a lot of teaching training to get that finger like that. I'll put a lighter stroke here. So I don't really, yeah, I really don't have to do a softening half tone here because I'm really just going up in light value right in the light area, not going up very far. From where I was. So it's just up a little bit. But if I come down here like this, down、mm. into this area, that's where I'd start to look for a half tone again.、ねここね、yeah. So I'd look right down in there. Maybe come down, maybe even a little cool color here because we're heading towards that shadow and put a little half tone right there to soften that out. Isn't that pretty? Yes. yes it's pretty. <laughs> that's very pretty. Makes it two strokes. Ha! Done. <laughs> and, and do the same thing here. Watch nothing fancy, just a little bit of paint and just lift yes, off lift like off. that.、Ah. And you'll take that shadow right back up off that petal there, just like that. And that's the beauty of the half tone、wow. pigment. I can set the light back in again、mm. and lift that back just a little. We can go back just a little. Yeah, you can pull out every, and it gives you a rose that has、oh, all、no. this, this beautiful, beautiful interest to it, too. And if you see, one of the things、um, that's very, very important about the half tone technique,、mm. yes. and we get it all the way from Sargent and 
this is going to be very important for my S102 landscape students. We're going to go to an impressionistic technique where the power of the brush is so important. Mm. You don't want to go eh, 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 oh, eh, yeah. too many times and blend. I have it. I know. Yeah, <laughs> you have it too. Yes. Uh -huh. We work. We work the colors too much mm. on our palette. We mm. blend too much, and the stroke That's... has no power. And then when you step back, it looks lost. So yes, lost. you're painting for distance I... painting here. You know. So. いや、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
your eye can shift very quickly between the two here rather than taking a light color and blending 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 mm -hmm. you understand yeah. yes so I do half tones so it goes very it goes very fast if I had dark color and worked the light I'd have to work and work and work and work to soften so I put the light stroke on here and I put the light stroke on there and then I um, come in and softenly pull this shadow up like this then we'll come in here and do a little bit a little bit of cooling a little bit of cooling so by putting the lights on and softening with the half tone you actually use few you you don't use very many strokes so it's it goes very fast you can paint half tones very fast half tone 使った場合またそれほどたくさんのストロークを入れることがないのでハーフトーン使って書くとなるべく前よりは、えー、以前よりは早く書けるはずです we'll put a little bit of cool color here sometimes I'll let just up like over here since this side is falling away from the light I might push my red violet here we might just push red violet a little burnt sienna a little light so that the tone starts to become a little bit violet here to the cool side cool that side is falling cool side です今そちらの方の影になるサイドのところですね少しレッドバイオレットに白を加えた状態で、mm -hmm. we can push a little bit of that red violet over here which would be kind of pretty over here but I watch the tone I don't want to get it uh, now I've got a tone right between there and so I take that cool tone I did I come over here I warm it and lighten it just a little bit and come right between the two and soften that out and it goes very quick see and it goes very quick and it softens that right out makes it look like you know what you're doing okay right yes and we'll take a little bit of that tone and we'll draw here and just let this fade away onto that side try not to grow that rose too much In, oh. inside yellow and some burnt sienna and then our cool a little bit of our cool See how pretty that looks oh, in there? Pretty. Yeah. Okay. And then go up and cool. Yeah, Murphy. It just looks like you've turned it even a little bit farther away from pointing straight forward. So it, it even, by, yeah, by turning it, a little bit more, it takes it, that. Yeah, it makes it even less. Like it's tipping fight. back and turning yeah. this up there. And it's, it's the tones background. that are doing that. And that's uh, one of the things that she's saying is the, the, the you know, when, when you paint, you have two ways to really turn a rose. One is to get those tones correct, the warms yeah. and the cools, and the other way is to draw it, its shape and stuff like mm -hmm. it's turning. Mm -hmm. And le like Martha was noticed there, is that it uh, is turning. It, it looks like it's even turning, and it is because the tones, the cool color is receding down, and mm -hmm. the warm light color is advancing up, and that is turning the rose that way too. So as long as I don't put any real warm light color over onto this side, the rose will turn. The second that I put warm light color over here, it flattens the rose out oh. and brings that edge back up oh. through here. So we don't want to do that. Icky, icky. Okay? Mm, yes. Right? Right. You see that? And so you can see, and of course, on this rose, how light, how much you do, that's your choice. But maybe I might put a little, just a little touch of that light hitting right in here. And if I need to soften it, maybe head a little bit of cool tone, head with a little bit of a half tone pulling right into that to soften that in. Yeah, that's good right there. That's just about enough. You don't want to do, I don't like to do too much. I like it to leave some stroke, some power of the stroke. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yes, this was uh, going to be a little bud of our blossom. Boy, see how fast you can paint roses with this half tone. You're reading the tone, going light to dark, up and down the scale, and it works really nice. And of course, I use the half tone technique here like this for a lot of different things. So not only this, I mean, for different looks, more realistic looks. Um, hey, Dee. Yeah. Uh, the yellow rose that's on the uh, wall right up there in the oval plaque. Yes. Can you grab that one? Thanks, Pumpkin. 
。アフトンテクニックですね。今まで書いてた,いた感じよりは、ずいぶん早く書けると思います。明るい部分と暗い部分を捕まえて、その中間の色を入れていくことで形を作っていきます。This one's painted with the half tone technique, which does a,、uh, a rose just a little bit more realistic. I did this、mm-hmm. one,、uh, this is one I taught at SDP and,、um, yeah, and killed a whole bunch of students who'd never seen the half tone technique before. And、uh. you know, you're, you're painting in tones, you're painting in light and warm and, and darker and cooler tones. And it's a fantastic technique. Plus, this looks like I have blue in here. This is not blue. This is.、Uh, um, Uh, black, or it's, it, yeah, this is black and、uh, red violet. But the, in black, when you're using the tones like this, black will make colors look very blue. There's no blue in this palette. Oh, really? That's black and red violet to make that, and it looks very, very blue, and、mm. it's not. It's a very limited palette. Very, very limited. Thank you, Dee. It's okay. Thanks.、Um, and uh, it's a very fun type of technique. So you can make something look very, very real with the half tone technique. Or you can、uh, paint very casual and a l l a prima strokes like this, which is what I like to do here. I'm going to add just a little more stroke right here, power.、Mm-hmm. Why I want to do that is so I can get some more、oh. power here. So this one doesn't overtake that. So I put a little bit、I、more there. I see. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. So I'm going to put a little bit more there. そんな風にして作り,作,作り上げていくんですけれども、ハーフトンテクニックですね。やっぱり早く描けます。力強い色,色が出てくるのと、もう一つは、えーこ、このテクニックを使うと、すごくリ少し、もう少しリアリスティックな花が描くことができます。Yeah. And if you notice on my palette, I'm constantly picking up paint and constantly working it because I'm letting this, and this is really stiff and it's really sticky. And I'm very careful about wiping my brush. Sometimes、mm-hmm. I will clean my brush. You don't、mm-hmm. see me clean my brush very often, but clean my brush before going up and down the tones. So each tone、mm-hmm. stays very clear. You don't want to get all this white color、mm-hmm. down here, it'll start to look cloudy.、Mm-hmm. You don't want cloudiness to it. 白をね、この子で使ったものを、この、このクールのサイドにそのまま筆を使うと、この濁ってしまう色になってしまう。全部に白が混ざったようになってしまいますので、えっ、ー、と、この、例えばこういうバリエーションを作りたい時っていうのは、必ずすごく筆をしっかり拭き取るか、むしろ洗ったりして、きちっとしてこのグラデーションを維持するようにします。So now I have a dark and a light here, and I've got to create the little half tone. A little yellow oxide. 今、ダークサイドと明るいとこがあって、そのハーフトーンというか、ハーフトーンの部分を入れていきました。And I see a lot of difference here between the light and that, which means I go this way, pick up a little bit of that, and stroke right there, and you see that whole thing soften two strokes. Yes. And all of a sudden the thing smooths up. Now, I don't want to paint too smooth, so I'm going to add just a little more light. I don't want to paint too smooth because I want some of these strokes for interest here on this rose. 完全に全部、えー、とスムーズには描きませんっていうのはそのストローが少し見えることで面白みをもっと加えることができるからです。So I like to set up some strokes for some interest here.、うん、And so I'll set up like this little petal here. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. And、yeah. then pull out just a bit here and set that petal in、うん、like that. That petal joins in. Maybe a little cool color because we haven't put cool color on that yet. You can push a little bit, but Not quite like that. Yeah, sometimes I touch that half tone too much, and you don't touch it too much. You paint a tone, and that's really where you get it pretty. Now, see,、oh, that's、yes. kind of pretty. I'll put just a little light, cool. I won't put light, I'll put a little light, cool color over here. Cool color. color. And I'll be looking, I know my back. This is my back、mm. right here. So I'm looking at that color right against here, and I'm a little bit too light. So I know. This will be very soft on the back side there. This color will be very soft there onto that tone there. And so I know it's not, if I would put the first one on, you would have went, <gasps> but、uh-huh. I'm looking at it right、uh, yes. here. I'm watching the tone right here. So really, this palette is the same. It is the same. same. Exactly. I'm very careful with my palette. パレットに、ね、パレットを気をつけてください。パレットっていうのがやっぱりその花の色を作っていきますので、パレットを混ぜてしまう。パレットの上でここでやっぱり見ることができます。そうすると向こうに同じ,その同じ比率のものを持っていくことができますので、パレットは必ず花と一緒の状態を維持してください。Now put that on as a little common color through the whole thing there and that looks、uh, pretty nice. Not too bad. 
Now let's go over and let's do some white blossoms. So here was my greens. Here, well, let's make a run for our whites. We have our pine greens and our grays over here as our and our burnt siennas. We can even cool just a touch with them. Some um, red violet. These are our warmer ones. Some of our yellows. Some of that nice dark yellow. yellow. <laughs> it goes in there. Now can see very the pretty. Now you can Let's see the see. variation here. Yeah. And we'll look for the medium whites right in through oh, here. Yes. And sometimes a little green. We'll just kill that with a little red there. And so I got some nice mm. variations here for some of my petals. Let's start right up here with the front blossom. We'll put in the front blossom right here. Okay, with some of our light color. And then I'll drop down over here to my darker color. Right over here to the dark side there. So I'll put a light side to it. Yeah, it's a nice gradation. There. We'll put this light, maybe a bit light because of it's a little bit further away. So maybe a bit light. Let's go down to the medium color. And let's go down to the darker color. Sets the darker part of the tone of the blossom there, where that one's going to go. And this is this this is just your first look at your colors. And I like you know like maybe this one has a little more yellow in it. So this one will have a little more light, a little more yellow. Then I'll go this way. And maybe this one has just a little bit of that. So you see. I can set up those tones like that. Camera, okay. those to me, to some Irona Chigai, a Hakiri Mir to my mass. So, sir, to Kondua, eh, Dochira ni Muiter Kate, no Gatanda, so so de Kirio, not the Kimas. Yeah. So, we'll put a little blossom up there. Let's do one or two. Let's do one、uh, here, turned up this way, and, and we won't go quite as dark. Because it's going to be up onto the light side there. So this one will be up onto the light side here. So we might even push a little more light into it. As long as we don't interfere with our rows, we can push a little more light. Yeah, now I'm going to take some of my burnt sienna right into the center here. Just kind of push that around. Here we'll go with our burnt sienna, or we can come right back to where we had our burnt sienna before. This will also give harmony between my blossoms and the、uh, roses. I'm a burnt sienna on center, and it's a mask. No, no, burnt sienna, and it's a mask. I'm a kill two shock. This is a cobana to cono key, and she like cobana to bara no kill two shock. Not there, no, they have money. You'll be the same as now. Sometimes when I paint like wild roses with this, and they have light colors and everything to the center, I even paint the centers with half tones. But、uh, sometimes on quick little flowers like this, I won't. I won't. I will just do it just fast like this. So different, different types of techniques. Yes. We like to paint different. いろんな違った描き方をすることがとても楽しくてとても大切になってきます。Yes, Dave. Yes, Dave. Awesome. Yes. Right, Dee, still there? No, she's not. Oh, she's oh, not.、No. She had to step out for a minute. Oh, step out、oh. for a minute, yes. <laughs> she went to get herself a drink of water. Yes.、Yeah. <laughs> David, what do you. I mean, everyone gets to go to take the drink of water, you do all this stuff, except for me. <laughs> and that's why it's a live class. That's why it's a live <laughs> class, yes. Dave, Dave will you be.、Um, I just can't get over how this paint is still wet as you're moving around. It's not、mm -hmm. like sloppy wet. Yeah, it's not. It's, 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 it's there's some of it that is really like the first rose there is just almost dry completely.、Uh, and yeah, it, but yeah, and you know, you, you, you ask the greatest questions. And、I'm、it's a nurse. just, yeah, <laughs> I know you're a nurse, <laughs> you don't want. But one of the things why, and this is very important too, Tommy, and we were talking about、yes. this with your students, because it's a very important thing, is, um, P、we don't use enough paint. Now you're watching、uh. me pick up paint and put it down, and pick up paint and put it down, and pick up paint and put it down, and build and build and build. That thick color gets、mm. trapped in、yes. there and it、yes. dries、yes. slower and slower and slower. But if you and you look at my palette here, you know, you look at this palette of these colors,、mm -hmm. you look at how much paint is there on this palette.
And if you're looking at your palette and you see all this real thin color that's right up there mm -hmm. like that, that's all going to dry really, really fast unless it's just mm -hmm. loaded down with extender. But it's wet like that, Marfie, because I paint so much thick paint and I build mm -hmm. that color that's on there. Now, I am feeling the surface. I Even though I put on a lot of color, it's going to stay wet. I like it to tack up and get a little sticky. That's when it really works. And that sticky period will last for a long time, maybe an hour, maybe 30 minutes. But if it's thin paint on there, it doesn't last very long. And that's going to lead to um, something towards the end. We've had a couple of questions, of, uh, conversations about surface prep and some of um some of our our uh, uh participants have been using that birdie again she's mm -hmm. been trying to get i think it was birdie no i'm sorry it was elizabeth trying to prep luan uh -huh. luan um, luan's very thirsty yes and that's what she was running into and i thought this would be a great thing to have maybe even a separate session in japanese and english what you know surface challenges yeah. surface prep challenges and yeah. that people uh, run into and how we can help them yeah because it, it that's very true you know the different types of wood drink or paint very fast and mm -hmm. more difficult to depend, put on depend on the, the type of type wood, of the wood. Yeah, yeah. yes mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes yeah. or sometimes only prep on the color yeah or with much surface either. right Hard or soft. Right, right, <laughs> right. That's a different feeling. So here I'm going to just put on a little more light here onto mm. these. Uh -huh. And if I because, want to soften, yes. if I want to soften, I'll head to the half tone and soften down. Yeah. And building the light, I want this light side right up here. I want that to burn. And there's all kinds of ways here to build a blossom. If I want this blossom to kind of curve, this petal mm. here to curve, I put a little dark, maybe a little center color here, and I curve it lifting up like this. Wipe the brush, pick up a little bit more and curve it, and that blossom there will curve going, kind of look like it's curving going up like that. Yeah. こういう感じのカーブしたように見せようと思ったら、ダークからを少し引っ掛けながら、え、シャドウサイドの色をこう取っていくと、カーブした花に見えます。And yeah. I'm going to let that just fall down there. And sometimes I'll take a a darker tone here. Let's take a little bit more of our darker tone. A little green and and some burnt sienna here. Maybe cool this just a little bit up here so it's a little cooler. And I will give the impression, just the impression of more blossom color down through here like this, down between. Sometimes I'll put leaves, sometimes I'll put the idea, some of that there, some of this, just move some color through mm -hmm. and this will be more uh, blossoms in just a moment. Mm -hmm. あそこの空間の部分ですね。まず、バンドシェーダーとパイングリーンを使って少し濁ったようですね。上に近い色を作って、しかもそれをこの奥になりますので、クールにするために、レッドパイロットを加えています。そして、バリューを白でコントロールし
casual technique like this where I just... ここですね、ネガティブペインティングをすることで花びらの形を少し出すようになります。なので、私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は Yeah, and so you can make the edge of the leaf, this, the edge of a petal jump off. Like right in here, I can shape like the edge of a, a petal of this rose, just like that, if I want to push that in a bit. Push that in, let that get lost there. And you see the edge. Negative painting was、ね、ここ Negative painting was something I did in the、uh, rose, in my Mastering Rose series. I use it in a lot of different techniques. And it just adds so much to your paintings very easily. Yeah, it gives a lot of shape into that whole thing. So, I, rather than paint petals absolutely perfect positively with the shape and color, I do it negatively with background. あの完全に最初からね花の形を描くんではなくて後からネガティブペインティングを使って花の形を出していくっていうのを今やっています。Yeah, and let's take a little bit of that color. And maybe a little yellow oxide in it, so it's a little different. I find a color I like, and let's come out here and shape some leaves. Usually, in a composition like this, I don't do too many perfect leaves,、mm-hmm. I like it, but I do like to put them on and take my finger as it's starting to tack up and just drag、oh. over the edge of it, and、yes. that's what gives the light、It's、edge、great. to it. Yeah. I like that. yeah, it works so well. いい感じに仕上がっていくので、私もこのテクニックをすごくよく使います。とてもあの効果的なテクニックだと思います。Yeah, and just drag over the edge of that, and it just gives you your little highlights and stuff like that to it, you know? 指で取ることで、そこの部分に少しハイライトではないんですけれども、ハイライトが入ったように見える。Yeah. ね、And let's lighten those up, get a little、oh, Darulite yellow. My new favorite color, and I'm not really a yellow person, but boy, I sure love what it did in my last painting. So push that and just lighten it up just a bit. See, it makes pretty little leaves like that. 今,ね、あの指を今,で今も指も使って少し取ったことでそちら側ですね光が入ったように見えます。Yeah. I love those going up and we'll push a little bit to the outside here. So when I come out through here, I don't always do perfect leaves. I'll just start to. I don't need too much perfect leaves out here. I can just start. ある程度書きましたのでその他のところはですねそのその同じ色を使って少し模様,模様を描くだけでそのあたり完全にそのきちっとした葉っぱを描かなくても葉っぱにがあるっていうのが大体分かってくると思います。Don't forget to add a few more stems and stuff. And then what I'm going to do is now come in to I'll take my pine green. I'll take some Burnt sienna, just a little bit, tone it, and then I'm going to cool it.、Hmm. Now, this is the, this can get、that's、a little bit dangerous、dark. because this, yes, you see how dark、very、that gets? Dark. This is very dark, very cool. I would、hmm. probably sneak up on the pine or the red violet a little bit. And this goes in for your contrast now. Into your center of interest first. Yes. And if, it, if you go <gasps> too much, then just. Do what I do is just take it back a little bit, take a little warm, and put、mm. over it, and that gets really pretty here when you do that. But fine. Center and center of interest, and the contrast of 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 the contrast. Yeah, so this is where I'm, st- I'm just going just a tone, just a little bit darker. I'm not getting too,、uh, mm. you know, too, too dark. Yeah, just... I always say sneak up on that cool. Don't get too cool too fast because、um, it'll get a lot of contrast on it. And that's because the roses are so warm. The roses are, the exactly. Warm, so that's exactly. That's exactly correct.
But I got Time to play that Rocky song again. <laughs> <laughs> I can just sing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 今バラの花がですねどうしてもウォープの状態でキープされてますのであのこ,れここにですねものすごくこのクールな色を持ってくるとものすごく飛び上がる状態になりますのでそこまでコントラストをつけなくても今これぐらいの状態で十分にその,の暗さっていうんですかね、mm-hmm. を与えることができます。Now I'm going to go a little bit a tone a little bit lighter add a little yellow a little green that maybe a, you know just a couple of values lighter and this can be used just a stroke in there to break up that cool just a bit yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, you decided I'm going to add I'm going to take a color I'm going to this tone that's right out here is a warm Uh, very warm, kind of a toned yellow. So I'm going to come up with a kind of a warm toned green. Cat's back. Hey, it's Bacchus. It's, <laughs> it's Bacchus. Bacchus is back. I、yeah. wish everybody could meet Bacchus. Well, he wants to let everybody meet Bacchus. <laughs> <laughs> And、uh, the color here that is just a little bit darker than what my base is. This is a soft tone that comes into some of the outside areas. As a place to take your eye away.、Oh, this is cool. It is a little bit cool. A little bit cool. A little bit cool. Not,、yeah. not crazy cool, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And so I have it just、yeah, a little just, bit. That's a very beautiful variation. Yeah,、green. it's a nice variation. Many, Many different, different greens green, in there.、Yes. Yeah. 今クールこれちょあのこの色ですね少しクールカラーが入ってますクールな色になってますで今下側の方にその色を入れてますけど全体見てもらったらわかると思いますグリーンのバリエーションですねすごくウォームカラーから始まって少しダークになったりこの一番濃いとこですねそしてこの薄いけれどバリューはそんなに濃くないんですけれどもクールカラーを使って下側を描いています。なので絵自体があのとてもあの暗い感じではなくて明るい感じでもそのクールサイドとウォームサイドがあることによって、えー、その立体感を表しています。I say that to the very soft but can see clearly cool and warm. Yes, you can. So make,、uh, make 3D. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Now I'll come in and we'll warm up, we'll lighten the green, a little warm. And we'll、make、今ここで少しあか、えー、とあったかめの色を作っています。We'll make some warm leaves.、Oh, yeah. We'll make some warm light leaves and just find the light side and just stroke a little bit of the light. Maybe a little, it's a little, ch- a little、yes. uh, gray, a little gray cloudy because I'm too light without intensity.、Oh, so a little bit more yellow into that. And we'll just make the idea here of some light leaves. I like to be very casual with them. Sometimes I paint them perfect,、mm. sometimes I just paint casual colors through there. And I like, I like the variation. I like to push some of them through. 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 I like to push Every artist is different. A lot of impressionists don't do too much with leaves. They make it all about the flowers.、Oh. So, and, but I like to do some with the leaves. Not in some paintings, I don't do leaves. So it's、uh, everybody's artist's choice. And I try to paint everything. Now, I'll cool this down. Yes. And let's draw some. Cool down, we'll see. So, this is the cool side. Yes. 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 Okay, Dave. Yes, awesome. Yeah, That's we'll、beautiful. just put a little. This is where I like to 
I like to see the brushwork. So if I feel that I get too too smooth, oh. I'll put some brushwork back into my flowers and into my thing. So brushwork to me is one reason that the painting is interesting. So、mm -hmm. I like to have brushwork. ブラッシュワークが見えてるのがとてもやっぱり面白い身があっていいと思ってますので一部でやっぱりそのブラッシュワークが目立,た目立たなくなっているところを今またブラッシュワークを出すようにして少し動きを入れています。So I make sure I have some good brushwork. Light side just a little bit heading here. ライトサイドにも一回色を入れています。少し筆の動きを分かるように描いています。Light side here. And so you get a good feeling of light, light coming light down coming to there. Through. Yeah, through there, yes. Now we'll just take some yellow oxide and some Hansa yellow, maybe a little dark light yellow because we have it. We'll put that right on the corner、oh, of our brush、yes. and we'll just tap it heavy here on one side, light on the heavy on the light side.、Mm -hmm. ライトサイドの方にしっかりそのこの今の超,超明るい黄色ですねを入れていきます。He、light on the heavy on the light side, softer on the shadow side. シャドウサイドはすごく軽く描いていきます。And back here, looks nice. Yeah. And right back through this other side here, I just tap it with my finger so it fades away a little bit. Here. ダークサイドの方ですね、少し指でタップすることで、えー形をそれほどあの消してあげてあげることで球体が見えてきます。Always in your painting, you are always thinking light and dark, light side, dark side, warm side, cool side。必ず絵を描くときにはダークサイドとウォームサイドはダークサイドとライトサイドとウォームサイドとクールサイドを必ず考えてください。Yes. Always, don't forget. いつも考えて必ず忘れないように気をつけてください。You can put a little bit of light, a little bit of white in it, and put some highlight. ハイライトのようにして少し明るい色をそちらに加えていきます。Mm -hmm. How much you put on that becomes yours. And of course, this is just a quick little painting of it. If I was doing、uh, more complicated, I would come back in and add more color to it and、uh, work my warms and cools one more time. 今簡単にクイックコンプションという形で書いてますけどこれをもうちょっとしっかり書こうと思えばもう一回全部戻ってきて少しもっと細かい部分を入れながら描いていく状態になります。For example, one color that is very important is our violet, our lighter violet. So we have that color here. I'll add some of that. I'll look to that cool color and add that into the, the blossoms. And so I start to look for Other colors that I can add on and push into other flowers and carry that those colors. Let's give a little bit of light to this one over there. あそこの部分ですね少し、えー、光が足りなかったので今光を加えています。Yeah. Maybe a, maybe a little one over here. Sometimes I'll just, at the end, I'll just add little colors like this. Just model it on your brush and just add little colors like these are little blossoms. Okay, Dave. Yes, Dave. Thank you. Push that around. Push those around. Just quick little things. Just push the colors around. Like they're little blossoms and stuff back there. That's it in back. But you push in more color and you'll, you'll say, Do I want to have a cool contrast? No. You, you have contrast right up here against the flowers. The blossoms get contrast with their center. So you can take a little burnt sienna and a little red and very carefully put a little bit of contrast. Watch.、Wow. Watch it up against your flower. That you're, and if it does become a little bit too much, just take a soft violet color and just half tone that away just a little bit. Now, the c o l o is the same as the color. The color 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 is So, I always like to put a little bit of contrast in like that,、mm. and then I take that little half tone color there and just go over a little bit just to push some of it away. 
and it looks very nice. It puts that color into the more into the painting. これですごい見た目が綺麗になってきました。Yes, so good. We're in good time. I paint this pretty fast. Yes, very fast and very、yeah. beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> I I teach you well. <laughs> very beautiful. Yes. I'll put a, a. You know, if you paint a leaf in here, you can. Give the idea of a little stem line like this. So, in, you know, you might want to say, okay, this is going to be a little leaf. Maybe put just the idea of the shape of one there that goes there like that. So, that's where I start to look through. I design. You can get too much. You know, this is a casual painting. You want to do everything kind of casual, nice, warm little flowers here. Casual painting. You can get. Too much, put too many leaves, too many things on. I like to keep it kind of soft like this here. Hapa でもそうですね。えっとこれカジュアルに描いてるので、葉っぱをきれいに描きすぎると、あのかあのきれいに描いてしまうと描きすぎになってしまいますので、せっかくのこのあのふわっとした感じがダメになってしまいますので、その形っていうのもコントロールしながら、どれぐらいあのカジュアルに描いてるか、どれぐらいの形を崩したままにで。えー、見せるかっていうのも一つのポイントになっていきます。Yeah, and、uh, any time like you may decide, okay, let's let me show you how the half tone technique works one more time here. Now this rose is up over here, the yellow part of it is dry. The green I just put on is not. But let's just say I want to bring up a little bit more. Maybe I'll put in a little bit of my darulite yellow there. 今ダイヤラベールをそこのあそこの端端の部分に乗せました。そし Back over to my light area here, Hansa yellow with some white. And I'll put in some of my light right here, a little bit more light. Yes. And then if I want to take out a little bit, I'll take out Darya light with just a little bit of my yellow oxide. And I can take some of that out softly. And then I head to this cool, I'll push over to the cool side just a little bit here. And you'll see that soften out. That's how the half tone works. And you can get it a little too soft. Like, you know, there I start to get a little bit soft. So maybe I'll, I'll put a little more contrast into that light. This is, I usually come through with my technique and decide at the last here how much do I want to start adding? How much more do I want my rose to be? Do I want it soft? Do I want to add any more petals? Do I want to make a few strokes? I like strokes. I like streakiness to my flowers. So I like to come in and add that. And I'll put that in and put soft color if I need, half tone color if I need to soften. So I'll put a light color. And if I want to soften, I'll put a half tone. ハーフトーンを、えー、どれぐらいさ、えー、と一番最後に花を一番最後にやることっていうのはどれぐらい花を最終的にその見せるかっていう部分を仕上げていくんですけれども足りないところにですね花びらを、まあ、色を入れた時にそのつなぎをどうするかっていう時にハーフトーンテクニックを使うことでうまくあの形花びらの形をつなぐ色を,つ色をつないで形を維持することができます。One of my things that I always, I always tell myself on every painting is once I get close to done, revisit my center of interest flower again,、mm-hmm. one more time. It should be the last thing you touch on your painting because、mm-hmm. it is your center of interest. So、it needs to be the interest. 自分がいつも気をつけていることっていうのは、えー、必ずそのメインの花に最終的に一回戻ってくるっていうことです。なぜかっていうとその中心の部分にやっぱり一番面白みを加えなければいけないのでもう一回自分でそこに戻ってどの程度その面白みをそこに持たせるかっていうのを考えています。Did you have a question? Yeah, I did, David. This is,、uh, you, you, you and Tame are using this half tone technique. Right. When you look at the shape of your roses and you、um, want to reestablish the, the bowl, or not,、uh-huh. you, not necessarily the bowl, but yeah, the bowl, reestablish the bowl,、uh-huh. would you use the same techniques that you've used in the past, put in the shadow and、yeah. work it back out? Yeah, and it, it's just like I do here. Let's say I want to put some, let's just follow right along with you here. Let's say I want to、uh, reestablish a little bit more color here on my center of interest rose, a bowl. 
I'll, I'll, let me take some cool color down. That was our burnt sienna and our cool color. And maybe a little bit of our yellow oxide. Uh, just because I don't want to go too horrendously dark there. But I'll push that color right back into my, my shadows right in there like that. That reestablishes my shadow on that, mm. on that bowl here. Now, what I'll do to soften it, so I'll pinch wipe my brush. Mm. I'll go back up. I, I don't have to blend it. I'll go back up first to my yellow oxide. That's my next step mm. up, my yellow oxide yes. right here. And I'll push my yellow oxide in there. Just pull out with some of the yellow oxide. That preserves the shadow right on the edge, right on the mm. edge. I don't have to. I'm optically painting. This is what we call optically painting. I don't have to. I want to push that tone in. Now I see the light tone mm. right there. And so then I'll push in a little bit of the light tone here that I see right there. I'll push that right into that area right there and push in some final lights here. Let's just push in some lights. And if I want to soften that, I'll go right mm -hmm. to my yellow oxide, which is right between those two, and push a little stroke right there. Mm -hmm. And I'll just push a little stroke right there and push one right there and maybe one final little shadow stroke. And I wipe my brush every time when I touch that, but push it right in there. And I got a beautiful, I've got a beautiful mm -hmm. tone there into that rose, yes. re -esta yeah. establishing that uh, shadow like that. Okay, so it's a wonderful uh, technique. You can paint a lot of really fun, uh, you know, you can paint a lot of really fun things. You can paint a lot of fun shapes. You're thinking always in the tone. You're not thinking ever of working your brush and blending or anything. You're thinking of the tone. This is uh, how we're going to approach Impressionism coming up in S102 in the landscapes. This is what you're going to want some of your students to start thinking through tone as they paint through things, you know, yes. as a, through their lessons. 花を考えるときに、花だけではないです。風景画もそうですけれども、必ず色っていうのを考えていって、それをど,どういうふうに組み立てていくかですね。ウォームエンド、ウォームとクール、そして、えー、ライトとダークを考えながら、えー、色を見ながら必ず花を描いていくっていうのがとても大切になってくると思います。Yes. And one thing that is very, very important、um, with your paintings, and you should be able to do this at the end of your painting, and I'll show you. You should be able to hold your palette. Right、uh, yes. to your painting and see the exact color progressions right there. You see your painting in colors right there, like that. You should be able to take a picture like that, see every tone that you've used, and that means that you've done the tone correctly. When you see big swaps of color all mixed together, you don't see your values and your warms and your cools and the values through your colors. That means you overworked your colors. That means you've Played around a little bit too much. And let me tell you, we play too much on our palettes. That's what we do.、Um, and,、uh, you know, we've got to be careful not to do that. Okay. テクニックですね先ほども見ていただいたと思いますけどパレットの中の色がそのまま花の色になっているような状態ですね、えー、全部その絵の中の色がパレットの上でそのきれいにまとまっている状態どの色も、えー、と最後まで見れる状態のパレットっていうのが一番あの花を描くときにきれいに花を描く,描くことができます。というのはやっぱり自分の目で色を確かめないと、確かめてそこにその比べることができないと、パレットの上で、絵の上でも上手に描いていくことができないです。でパレットをとてもきれいに上手にあのオーガナイズするっていうか、きちっと描くの維持するっていうことは、えー、とても大切なことなので、それを気をつけながら描いていただくと、自然にきれいな花が描けるようになります。Yeah. I said all that good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. David, can I must, you? I must be great. Yes. <laughs> yes. David, Tommy,、yes, can you use the half tone technique to paint other things and the flowers?、Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I use that. Well, what the half tone technique was、uh, when I first learned that whole thing was from John Howard Sandon in Portraits. Doing the all premier coup technique、okay. that is built forward in half tones. Okay. And he starts with the dark tones, works up through the light. He's a fantastic educator, fantastic technique.、Um, and it just builds those tones. And you, you work through building these tones, really in values and warms and cools, very much for the planes of the face.、Uh, and then I started applying that to flowers. But now I apply it to landscapes, I apply it to rocks. Um, mm -hmm. And those of you in、mm -hmm. S102, we're going to be painting some rocks.、Uh, mm -hmm. I, I have those videos, and we're sitting, we're going to be, I'm going to show you the halftone and the、uh, broken color techniques that are coming up、okay. 
to work some of those. Something you have to show your little students too, okay. and some of the previous mm, the broken yes, colors, yes. halftone techniques. But to visually do the halftone technique is such a wonderful technique. It it really it's really very helps. versatile. It's very versatile mm -hmm. and helps your entire painting process there. But you have to kind of visualize, you know, playing through the tones. And rather than taking that, and this is very very important, rather than taking that extra brush stroke to soften something, you go grab another tone. That gives power to the stroke mm -hmm. and power to the color. You stroke that color too many times, it mm -hmm. loses its identity and becomes grayed and toned and lost. And that's very, very yes, important. I know. <laughs> yes, you know that. <laughs> you play and play and yes. play and it has um, no power um, in that yes. tone. And that's why I say all the and time is put that in. Gone. And we, yes, you know, we I follow know. our master that did mm -hmm. the, the impressionist and, and you know, uh, John Singer Sargent. And he said, the stroke, the, the first time you apply that stroke is when it has the greatest power. Right. After mm -hmm. that, every time you touch mm -hmm. it, it loses its interest and its power. Mm -hmm. And it's very true. So you use a tone technique like this that keeps mm -hmm. the power to the color and to the brush. And you try to do it with as few strokes as possible. Right, Dee? Yes. Yes. <laughs> But it's our habit to play. We, we all, all love guilty. to play. We all we all guilty. We all <laughs> love to do it. You know, the yes. uh, uh, yeah the uh, the girls here this last week they saw me go mm -hmm. through something and wipe it off completely. And I don't wipe off paintings very mm -hmm. often. And that's where you know visually I was working on a brand new technique, mm -hmm. trying to get some through. And it was basically a variation of the halftone technique, which I do a lot. But they saw me go over, and I painted a whole bunch of pretty flowers, but it wasn't what I was looking for. Yeah. And so uh -huh. the halftone technique is going to take a little bit of practice, just like everything does. It takes yes. a little practice. But once your eye starts seeing the tone, yes, yeah, you're on a <laughs> yeah. T. Yeah. No, once your eye starts to see you know to see that it's fantastic it's a wonderful mm -hmm. technique and you can paint pretty pretty darn fast mm -hmm. okay Alrighty, Marvin. Yes. Yeah, but we just they were just asking for the name of the artist again. I was just making sure I was spelling it right. Sergeant? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, John Singer Sergeant? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh he's wonderful and there's some books and stuff written on him and everything and you know, and he did a whole thing on landscape stuff. And matter of fact, it, those of you who ever had a chance to go see some of his work, like down in the National Gallery, where yes, we went down we, and looked at his work in the National <laughs> Gallery. Remember yes. that? And we stood yes. there and we go, wow, hasn't that guy ever heard of blending? But then you step back about 15 <laughs> feet. It yes, took that. Yes. You step back about 15 feet from his painting, and it was magnificent. You walk up to the painting and you go, Oh my oh. goodness! Oh, oh, that's wow! Boom, boom, I could never boom, do that. Yeah. Boom, boom. I could never right. do that because we'd have, to play. We'd have yeah. to play and soften all of that down. But a half tone painter doesn't do that. But you can get a blended look with a half tone. But you really you, you shouldn't play. And sometimes I'll play a little bit too much. But also one last thing: look at what that diolite yellow does yes. to those roses. Sure, very, very off they go. Sign me up yes. for a bucket. Sign me up for a bucket. I'll take a bucket. Okay. <laughs> so, so, anything else, Mark? Is that about it? Did Howard, uh, John Howard Sandin also use that technique? John Howard Sandin, yep. That's the halftone technique. Yep, that's what he does. The portraiture and stuff, right. yep. And he has that uh, book, is it 21 Steps to uh, Painting Portraits using, uh, Premier, Coup, yeah. using Premier Coup Technique? Um, fantastic, fantastic book. Fantastic. Um, it's one that once you, you know, it, it is, he's very descriptive of it. He's very thought processed through it. He's a fantastic uh, educator as far as stuff. Um, it is, uh, He's a beautiful artistic painter, but it is 21 steps to try to uh, to get through. So it is kind of scientific, mm -hmm. you know. But the guy paints in a lab coat and a tie and looks fantastic <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's really, truly the professional. Mm -hmm. he, he's, I want to be like him when I grow up. You know, okay. yeah, but yeah, it's uh, good really to have great. a goal, baby. It's good, good to have, have a goal. goal. Yes, <laughs> I keep telling myself, yeah, it's great. It's great. It's a great technique. If you don't have that book, you ought to. Alrighty, is that good? I will find that book's title, or Jessica beat me to it, and we'll She's put on up. It. She's, She's on it. On it. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs>
<laughs> Jessica's on it, yeah. Get that link, we'll do that link. All righty, anything more do you want to talk? You mm -hmm. see what the live classes are like? Yes, you can go do yes. that. Thank you so much. You, yes, uh, yeah, them. you've already filmed a lot of your mm -hmm. lessons, which were great. Yeah, yes, thank you. Uh huh. Learning the cameras are, uh, uh, learning yes, the, the cameras yes. and learning to switch the cameras sometimes is, uh, you know, you've noticed some of you in classes, I forgot to do it. And uh, poor Tom <laughs> A painted an entire painting there and forgot to switch the camera to the down shot. So you saw her so face 40. for 45 minutes. So <laughs> she gets the joy of painting it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> D saying, shh, don't tell him about my mistakes. I told, I told D she, yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't tell him about your mistakes. I told D she ought to make a whole reel of bloopers. I mean, I'd buy that one. <laughs> Her bloopers are awesome. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks very much for joining us. Say thank you. Yes, thank, thank you very much. Yes, and, uh, yeah, uh, thank you really, really thank you so much. Yeah. Good night, good night, Japan. Good yeah. night, Japan. Thank you for a great time. Good night, America. Thank you for a very good time. Yes, and Makiko, we see you tomorrow night in the uh, landscape class too. And some of my yes. S101s, some of my students, thank you for joining us and helping us test out the classroom and showing what this is like and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. Of course, yeah, we like doing that. Uh, we like showing you that kind of stuff. So, and you ought to go over to Tom A's website, um, at tomaeart.com and see the, the pieces that she has in, uh, her uh, lessons in her classes, they're wonderful. She's teaching it in both English and in uh, Japanese. So she has videos that are filmed just in English and videos that are filmed in Japanese. Yes, and, uh, I, yeah. I, I think I can speak English. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. Her English is yeah, very sweet. A lot, a lot better than, a lot better than my <laughs> Japanese. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Maybe. Yes. I can say sushi. You can say awesome. awesome. That's wonderful. You should do a video. <laughs> okay, that's it, Murphy. That is great. Uh, oh, David, um, you know we talked very briefly about uh, difficult surfaces or surface yeah. prep challenges. I know that you want to close up now, but maybe that could be something that Tommy, you would think you about doing in, in Japanese class, for your student base. In your class. I've asked yes, Jessica to. Jessica and I were just talking. I think she plans to put out something this summer. I think these are things that people are always These are fantastic asking. classes, you know, and that's one of the things is, um, and I thank everyone uh, for writing the questions. And I know, Bertie, you have a couple of questions. I'll answer those in the uh, classroom tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah, and Elizabeth um, had to go, and so I know she's going to be bringing some more questions. Yes, yeah. uh, and you know, and those of you that are watching the video, thank you very much for your questions because those questions help key us to to have a better classroom. Yes. So no question is is yes. yeah is wrong. We love to have your questions, no matter how basic you feel it is, because it's a learning process for us and sometimes especially as me as an educator who's been doing this 35 years I forget about the beginning parts of the process I just mm -hmm. it just naturally assumes and you really help us out when you ask those questions even though you mm -hmm. think they're basic they're really helpful to us so we love questions that questions yes. make a better classroom all the way around so and it's always anytime. good to review it's yes. always and good it YouTube idea <laughs> yeah, that's right. Another classroom, and, another know, DVD, and, yeah, another. It's really great. I'll make a video. <laughs> yeah. well, I've got we've a got, green thumb. We've it's got, green. I got a green thumb. Yeah, we've got you. Up. We've got Tame. We've got Deanna. We've got Jessica. Yeah. So all I have to do is. As anybody sends an idea in, I've got artists galore that just will be... Just wind them up and let them go. <laughs> <laughs> that's about what yeah. we do. I just say, we need a video. <laughs> yes. Deanne has, uh, has generously offered to do some prep videos for us and... Jessica is talking about, like we talked about the surface yes. preps and things like that, technique classes. It's always good to review. So please send in any questions you have, any emails. Yeah. Uh, we're keeping track, and we're going to we try are. to address everything we can. Exactly. Yep. That's, so, that's all Thank good. you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, the thank art, you to the uh, artists thank in you my life. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to do this. We'll uh, see everybody, uh, all my students, I'll see you back here. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at night. seven o'clock. We're starting up at seven o'clock, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to be painting some happy clouds. See all those little cloud yes. studies back there. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some cloud studies, some landscape and cloud studies, and showing you warms and cools and shape and occluded shadows and 
all kinds of stuff. And don't forget, <laughs> and don't forget Japan. Tommy's learning how to do these, and she'll be doing some videos in Japanese exactly. for you. So exactly. hang on. Everything yes. she learns here, she's going to be and sharing tomorrow with night, you. tomorrow uh, night, Dee might even do it in Swedish. What do you think, Dee? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. We'll uh, see you next time. I'll put it over here to the exit part Thank of it. You. Thanks very Thank much. You. And you take Good care. Night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>